Okay, so thank you guys all for coming. It is Thursday, August 10th. We have so much going on in our company. We have such incredible, amazing energy happening. There's so much new information. There is so much um, powerful, just churning energy. And I know that everyone's just coming back from convention kind of going like, whoa, like, what just happened? And there's all this new information and all this new, um, this new energy. And so I just wanted to take an opportunity here to ground in with the Bliss Ohana and bring in David Litt, who, as we all know, is really like the mastermind behind most of the changes that have happened. And um, so David, I thank you so much for being here. And I'd love to have you just kind of come on for you know, maybe like 20 minutes um, and, and share a little bit about what you're seeing and, and where you are with all of this and what, you know, just kind of like, just give us your spin on everything. And then um, I do know that there's also people with specific questions, um, like kind of maybe more, more detail oriented questions that we can open up for after when you're done. Um, sure. I, I, I came on to find out what was going on too. <laughs> well, I just was on this really awesome call earlier. It was great. Whoever cool. was on that call was, was awesome. <laughs> Okay, well, um, you know, if you want me to just download for 10, 15 minutes on some, you know, some things that I think are important as far as what's coming up, um, we could certainly do that and uh, reemphasize a couple of things and then uh, take questions would be great. So, um, you know, number one thing is, is I think our commitment to getting better is a really overarching uh, concept. And, you know, we were just recognized by Inc. Magazine as one of the 5,000 fastest growing companies for the fourth year in a row. But we are not afraid to um, keep what's working and, and get rid of what's not. And so other than the mission and other than, you know, the product quality, nothing else is really sacred as far as, um, you know, what Purian represents. So we're all about trying to heal the world. We're all about trying to um, help and empower entrepreneurs. And, um, you know, anything that gets us closer to that goal is, is what we're going to do. So with that said, um, we felt as though we weren't really serving customers and we weren't really serving influencers well enough and that the world is changing and that the world is becoming, uh, you know, more of a, a social economy and that we felt as though we really needed to make things easier, that um, all of you know hundreds if not thousands of people, and so we wanted to make it easier for you to share, and so we came up with this no membership, no auto ship, uh, best prices model, and so that's really gonna be the focus, is no membership, no auto ship, best prices, and um, keeping it as simple as possible to allow people to hand out gift cards, hand out gift cards, hand out gift cards, and direct people to a website. And we're really excited about having a, a better website and a better shopping experience from the phone out. And so that's another piece of feedback that you know we've been very aware of for a long time. But you know, Dave and Amy were willing to put uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, into play to, to make sure that we have a world-class um, phone-friendly um, shopping experience and 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 that's what we're going to have. And so we're going to have a platform that's really going to make it easy for uh, people to utilize a gift card and to um, not only utilize it once, but after they use that gift card, have a customer business model that allows them to purchase over and over and over again at up to a 25% discount. So um, that really paves the way for the gift card not to be a one-time use or a dead end street. It really paves the way for treating customers with respect. And so we're gonna have um, two pathways and those two pathways are gonna be quite different and quite clear and that people are gonna move from the customer pathway to the brand partner pathway, uh, which is our new name for promoters or members. They're gonna move over there because they wanna make money, not save money. So um, that's, a, that's a big difference. So right now we put everybody in this member bucket and we're not sure who's a customer and who wants to make money and how to talk to them. And so we're not sure as a, as a company how to do that. And I'm sure that um, you might be frustrated or confused. And I'm sure that some of your people um, are, are frustrated and confused. So we're gonna treat customers like customers and brand partners and promoters like brand partners and promoters. 
And I think that really honors who they are and what they want. And we're proud enough of our products that we know that we're going to have enough people who are going to have a great product experience that they're going to want to be brand partners. And so the gift card model is going to continue to be the centerpiece piece of getting customers in. And you're no longer going to even need a gift card to upgrade somebody to a brand partner. So we're creating some, some great new compensation on the front end that's very rank driven. And these new coding bonuses will provide additional incentives to get to the ranks of executive diamond, blue diamond and crown. And so coded bonuses are really going to be a big part of um, how you're going to earn weekly income as a brand partner. So we're going to, widen the funnel with our customer program, not put everybody through the transformation funnel. Um, so you're welcome to and, and definitely should use transformation as one of the primary ways to attract customers. But now you can talk to moms about kids products or you can talk to them about skincare or you could talk to them about, you know, can't beat this or any number of, of products that uh, might resonate more directly with them versus just putting everybody through the transformation funnel. So I think those are really the key concepts as far as the customer program, the brand partner program. And then of course, from a product perspective, now that we're opening up the funnel wider, we've introduced five great new products, these four sprays that are getting unbelievable feedback. So we've got the chill spray for, uh, for um, stress reduction. I was just uh, listening on the way home to the radio and they say that um, opioid use now in the US is considered a national crisis. 142 people die every single day from opioid overdoses. Um, it's, it's, just, it's just so, so, so sad as far as what's going on with how people are getting prescribed and ultimately getting addicted to these stress reducing drugs. And, and a lot of it also comes from pain. And so we have a pain product as well. We have a, a, a spray called Charge for Energy. Uh, our pain spray is called Ease. And then we have a, a product called Control for appetite or hunger suppression. So these sprays are going to be fantastic, not only from a health perspective, but from a business perspective. Easy to share, easy to demo. You don't need water. You don't need to swallow a pill or a capsule because it goes, um, you know, because of the way it works. Um, you know, it works much more quickly. So something that you can feel literally in minutes. Um, so even for things like trade shows, um, you know, it just opens up a lot of opportunities for um, connecting with influencers. Um, and these sprays, I think, are going to be a lot of fun uh, to work with and promote with. And then, of course, we have the Biomedic product. And, and that's the product that um, I'm most excited about from a health perspective. Um, I believe it is literally the most important product that's ever been launched by a nutrition company. 75% um, of our food is genetically modified, and um, it's almost impossible to stay away from genetically modified food. Um, there are lots of, of studies now that show that um, most everybody is in some way contaminated by glyphosate residue. Glyphosate is the herbicide that is directly connected with genetically modified food. The analogy that I've been using over and over and over again is the tobacco industry. So you may have heard this analogy before, but I think it's one that, that's worth repeating. You know, in, in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, the tobacco industry said it's good for you to smoke. Smoking cigarettes is good for you. It gives you energy. They even recommended it for, for pregnant women. And then, of course, in the 60s and 70s, they said, well, it's not so good for you, but it's not so bad for you. And then, of course, in the 80s, they had to admit that smoking is, is really quite bad for you. And we now know that smoking not only causes cancer, but takes, you know, eight to 10 years off of your life. And that oftentimes for smokers, those last few years can be very, very difficult uh, health wise. So we look back on that and say, gosh, you know, how dumb can we be? Um, how can we allow these tobacco companies to trick us like that? How can we allow the the you know government to not protect us and you know but we would never be so foolish as to you know fall for that trick i mean of course if you're going to be putting you know tobacco into your lungs that's going to be a bad idea well guess what you know we're allowing the chemical companies to put these carcinogenic herbicides onto our food and we're consuming it and we're eating you know the, the stuff that we know is carcinogenic, the state of California, uh, July 7th of this year, just one month ago, said that 
uh, glyphosate causes cancer. That's a fact. It causes birth defects. That's a fact. So, you know, if most of the food that we eat has this stuff on there, you know, what are the repercussions? So obviously we have to be careful about, you know, how we promote the health benefits of this product. You know, we want this company to be a legacy company and we can't be making medical claims about, you know, what this, this product will do specifically as far as reducing diseases. But I can say that it's my personal belief that this product is almost like taking a, a pill uh, if you were smoking and, you know, alleviating some of the, uh, some of the, the challenges that come from smoking, it's, it's the same kind of thing with the glyphosate. So, um, you know, taking this pill that, that will allow you to remove the glyphosate and also rebuild your, your microbiome is going to be hugely beneficial to all sorts of people, especially those that are the most at-risk populations, younger and older people. So um, I feel like, you know, this is the biggest crisis that's going on in the U.S. today. Um, even bigger than the opioid crisis and some of these other crises is just, just the, the issue of genetically modified foods. And we have a solution. We're the only company that has such a complete solution. So 75% of the food you eat is genetically modified. 25% is non-GMO. And only there's only one product that's anti-GMO, and that's ours. So from a marketing standpoint, you know, we've mostly appealed to people who are purists, people who do read labels, who do understand and appreciate the benefits of green food. And we love those people. I consider myself and my family, you know, those types of people, but the majority of Americans are not that way. And so these spray products will attract, you know, the more average people. And this uh, biomedic product, I believe, will be a real um, entryway into the marketplace of people who aren't spending big money on um, non-GMO and organic food. You know, so the people who are eating the regular cereal and the regular salad dressing and the regular tortillas you know, those are the people that then, you know, the reality is our society today, people are looking for a quote unquote magic pill. Um, you know, to me, this is the closest thing you can find to a magic pill as far as dealing with, you know, what I think is such a, a big threat to our health and genetically modified foods. So I'm really excited about the new products that we launched, not only from a health perspective, but from a marketing perspective as well. And I feel like the business model and opening up the business model and opening up the funnel is really going to make things fun and easy and it will allow us to, um, you know, to, to promote to influencers, people who are great on social media, yoga instructors and personal trainers and churches and people at trade shows and all kinds of stuff. People that have lots of interactions with lots of people will now be able to hand out gift cards and, and keep it fun and simple. So. I'm happy to go through some of the percentages and numbers and dollars and cents and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I've been a marketing person all my life and uh, feel like I've been, you know, uh, pretty successful by identifying the larger trends that are out there in, in the marketplace. And I feel like we're spot on um, in network marketing to be able to, um, you know, capitalize on what's going on with the social sharing economy uh, you know, organic and non-GMO foods is obviously a huge movement. So I think we're just in the right place with the right products and the right program and obviously with the right people. And so that's why I'm excited to be here on this call and, and to help you in any way that you can to, uh, to, to be successful in sharing this, this story and, and, and moving our mission forward. Awesome. Thank you so much, David. And yeah, I mean, you know, I know that a lot of the people who are on here were at convention and, um, you know, everyone's kind of in that integration phase now of like, how do we take this huge, like all this newness? And of course, like obviously like you and I and some, some of the other clowns and fab board people have been kind of like behind the scenes working on this for a while. So we're a little bit more up to speed with it. But, you know, I'd love to just... Um, you know, appreciate you for being here and for sharing all that. And then, and then also just ask you to kind of, you know, if you could condense or simplify or give just a couple of different action steps. No membership, no <laughs> autoship, best prices. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, well, just to kind of give like a, a, a little, a couple action steps, you know, that because right now we're in this middle, this kind of like sure. 
limbo time so we we're not in september yet but like what you know what would you really recommend that people be doing grabbing a hold of right now sure so i mean i, th I think it starts with being a product of the product so I, I really recommend that everybody take advantage of of um our buy three get one free on the sprays and our buy three get one free on the biomedic so um great prices on those products and and those are going to be you know really lead products uh as i said from a marketing standpoint as well as a health standpoint so uh, you definitely want to make sure that you get those. Um, if you have a team of people, um, you know, I created seven different videos, so it's a total of a little over 20 minutes of information. Um, so it'll save you a, a sore throat by trying to go through it one by one by one with all the people. So um, all you need to do is go to mypurium.com and uh, in the upper right, there's uh, the big recap button that you can click on and there's seven videos there. So I would familiarize yourself with that information and, and help others to do the same. And what they're going to find and what you're going to find is that, you know, the key ranks really um, are going to be director, executive, diamond, blue diamond crown. Uh, we've increased the achievement bonuses for director and executive. Um, it, that's going to be going forward, but we've put it into the month of August. So getting to director for the first time is $200. Getting to executive for the first time is $500. Um, and there's matching bonuses on both of those ranks. So for those of you who are not yet director, not yet executive, that's definitely what you want to shoot for. But if you're already past those ranks, then who are the people on your team that want to run to director, want to run to executive to pick up the extra $200 or $500? And then the additional bonus at executive is that you're in the code. So we have a coded bonus program where the higher rank you are, the more money you make on our new enrollment packs that start in September. And the code is based on the, your paid as rank the month before. So the code for September is based on the rank that you end at here this month and how you're paid this month. So the first code is at executive, the second is at diamond. So it can really mean a lot of money um, over the course of the month of September by getting to the executive or diamond ranks in the code. So I would say, you know, using the products, um, getting to director executive and helping others to do the same. We do have an unlimited gift card offer uh, that's good through the 15th as well. So, you know, customer acquisition is going to be a big part of the new program. And so uh, making sure that you've got enough gift cards going into the next year. And then um, one of the benefits of enrolling here this month versus September is that everybody who is a PLC member, everyone who's a Perium Lifestyle Club member that is a member with a backup order, you're grandfathered in at a 30% discount, not a 25% discount through the end of the year. So, um, you know, without getting into all the details as you're enrolling new people, um, you can say with a straight face, hey, if you come in this month versus next, next month, you know, there's definitely a product price difference through the end of the year for you. So. Um, I think, you know, we're trying to balance a lot of different things. So I think, you know, uh, highlighting and showcasing the new sprays and the biomedic is a great way to introduce people to what we're doing. And, and it starts with you uh, focusing on the $200 and $500 bonuses and the coded bonus is, is definitely something uh, for those of you who are actively building a business. And then, you know, I think the hook to getting people in right now is the 30% the PLC price and importantly, getting in front of the next wave. So, you know, we've been on the Inc. 5000 list for the last four years, but, but our, our most spectacular growth occurred right after we launched our wave one. So when we launched wave one and made some significant business model changes, we grew almost 30 times in 30 months. And so, you know, we're hoping that we have that same type of growth here um, you know, from September over the next 30 months. And so enrolling somebody this month, they'll have an opportunity to experience the products, especially if they do a 10 day transformation, get familiar with, you know, your, your zoom calls and your Facebook groups. And, you know, they're going to wake up, it's going to be September 5th anyway. So, you know, to sign somebody up now, um, you know, you have the advantages of pricing, but you also have the advantages of timing. You know, the reality is September, October, November is really some of the best times of the year for us. And so having somebody enroll now, you know, especially if it's before back to school time where they can make the decision, kind of get their kids, you know, set up for school and then come out the other side fresh right after Labor Day ready to run is so much better than, you know, trying to enroll them September 5th or 8th or 10th or 12th. 
And then by the time they get their products and they figure things out and whatever, you know, they've eaten through, you know, a good portion of September. So I'm a huge believer in trends and I'm a huge believer in timing and, uh, you know, getting people involved right now is really great for their timing. And it's also going to be great for you for the achievement bonuses and the coded bonuses. So, you know, those are some of the things that I think are really, really important. And, um, you know, I, I think it, it, it starts with creating that great list of, of people and, and really going back through the list of people that you have and um, starting with those that might be business oriented that would understand this concept of timing and, and growth and Inc. 5000 and, um, you know, business model stuff. So anyway, that's uh, that's some of, you know, I think what what, you know, I'd be focused on here in the month of, of August. So. Um, I agree with you, Sarah. It's really exciting time. Definitely, you know, people trying to get grounded and, and, but we're going to wake up September 5th is going to be here, you know, before you know it. So, um, you know, your team has been fantastic at, at building and building and building and building, you know, and nothing has stopped. And so with all of that, um, you know, now's the time to, to, to be building faster, I think so. Awesome. Thank you. And yeah, sure. I mean, I've, I've been really, you know, up, le even leading up to convention, really kind of focusing more on bringing in team members, um, knowing that the customer piece is going to happen naturally, but really kind of focusing, as you know, on the influencers and bringing in um, some of the people who are interested in sharing and creating that income. So I love all the languaging and all the new, you know, verbiage that's coming out around all that stuff. Um, and I also know that there are I've been getting a lot of questions <laughs> from my team. And so this is kind of one of the reasons I wanted to bring you in is just to get like really clear responses. So if anybody um, wants to ask questions to David Litt directly, this is your opportunity. So Easy ones cool. first. Easy ones first. <laughs> Can we just unmute? Is that okay? Go ahead and unmute and just go right ahead. All right. Hi, David. Thank you so much. Hi. Love seeing yeah. your face again. Um, my question that I, I tried to get in earlier today uh, was with the UK cards, um, I wanted to know, is that website also going to be changing over to customers versus brand partners or is that staying, is that whole UK system staying the same? It's right now it's really confusing to me anyway, but I just want to know, do I continue studying the way it is now? <laughs> And yeah. can you sharing gift cards in the UK or is that planning on changing over soon? So, so great question. So, you know, we're going to continue to move toward unifying our global initiatives uh, from the brand down. So next year, um, the European business will be called Purion. Um, and depending upon how quickly uh, we prove this business model. We haven't even launched it yet, but we're quite confident that it's going to work. Uh, but it would be silly to try to convert them, you know, before we prove the level of success that we have. So, um, so yeah, so we will certainly uh, be changing the, uh, the business model over in Europe, but it will take a little while. Um, so on September 5th, um, they will still be called platinum. They will still have the compensation plan they have, but we have added European gift cards into the new packs so that, um, you know, for those who do have contacts over in Europe, you can begin to share gift cards over there and vice versa. In September, we'll be adding U.S. gift card codes into the European packs so they'll be able to share in the U.S. So, um, I, I don't want to give an exact date or estimate at this point. Um, a lot of it also just has to do with technology, but I believe that we can move relatively quickly in, um, from a technology standpoint in unifying the two companies. Um, but there's just a lot of moving parts, you know, <laughs> from the legal standpoint of changing the name of it to the labels, to, you know, there, there's just a lot of moving parts. So I know it maybe looks easy from this side and or frustrating that, hey, we've got two different businesses. Um, so I understand that, but um, yeah, I think at some point, you know, next year we should have one business, one name, one compensation plan, 
and uh, a lot more unified uh, way to promote globally. Our, our goal is to be all around the world. Everybody eats everywhere. And, uh, you know, there's no, no reason why in the UK uh, they can't enjoy the same concepts that we're enjoying here. But we got to test them out here and get them up. So hey, will, our, will our compensations still be the same as they are now in the UK? So the way that the compensation plan works is that all the volume is unified across the globe. So if you enroll somebody in Birmingham, England, it's just the same as if you enroll them in Birmingham, Alabama, as far as points go. But you get paid based upon where the order originates. So if somebody orders something in Bir Birmingham, uh, England, then you're going to get paid up based upon that compensation plan, which is actually quite a bit like our current compensation plan. So um, you know, it, it's not totally apples and oranges. Um, so you know, but bottom line is that you're going to get paid. But the ranks are the same. The point goals are the same. The volume crosses over borders the same. You don't need a, a membership kit in the UK. You don't need an auto ship in the UK, you know, but you do need separate gift cards in Europe. And that's why we're going to be setting up our new brand partners with the global opportunity. So unfortunately for those of you who are, you know, in the business now, um, you know, you'll have to buy European gift cards if that's how you want to build. So I may see if we can add some European gift cards into the unlimited gift card pack. So maybe that's that's an opportunity that we could we could look at. Um, so let me, let me go ahead and make a note to myself on that. Um, David, I'm seeing that we have a lot of questions around um, like around international orders and how that's going to. So can you just briefly break down like? Because we're separating out the membership from the cards, people would be able to order first order kind of internationally. Like, is there a way to find out what countries we ship to and, and an easy way to like get Yeah, out? US US and Canada are our Purium countries and, and the Europe and the UK, you know, the EU countries in the UK, which is kind of in the EU kind of not, um, is where we're open for business for platinum gift cards. So, you know, we don't ship to India, Israel, you know, or Thailand or any other countries around the world. Okay. Hey, David, can you hear me? Yep. All right. So uh, thank you so much for being here with us. I just have a few quick technical questions that haven't. We've just had two great uh, Perium partner Zooms with uh, David Scoltetti and go over, went over a lot of the changes. But two things I'm unclear on. Um, it should be pretty simple. One is uh, with the director and executive bonus that is starting this month, the 200 and 500, is I, I get the impression that there's moving forward, there's no timeline as to how many months you have to hit director and executive. And if that's true, does that start this month? Does everyone in our organization have a chance to get those? Okay. It, it, it does, Robin. So great question. Thanks for stating it so clearly. And, and yes, uh, I just confirmed with Debbie that the programming is set up so that we're removing the time frames starting this month. And we'll okay, make great. that more clear, yeah. And then the second part is, um, I assume since I haven't heard anything about it, that the lifestyle bonuses are continuing into the new compensation plan. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So all the unilevel infinity bonuses, lifestyle bonuses, everything else stays the same. So, you know, we, we haven't published a full new compensation plan, but really all we focused on are the things that are changing. So the yeah, achievement bonuses are something that are changing. Lifestyle bonuses aren't changing at all. Um, other than we're going to make the qualification a little bit easier, kind of a technical thing, but, but we are adding the 1K club and 2K clubs as options to qualify for your lifestyle bonuses and pools. Uh, so diamonds will be able to get into the 1K club as another alternative for um, qualifying. So good questions, but yeah, uh, the, the bulk of the compensation plan stays exactly the same. So we're just focused on the pieces we need to change uh, and, and mostly centers around the customer acquisition and the brand partner acquisition piece that we felt could be a lot stronger. So, good questions. Okay, great. Thank you. Awesome. Hi, uh, it's Gretchen Goddard here. Um, I have a pretty quick question. Thanks for everything, David. It's really very illuminating. Um, 
Are the professional discounts changing in any way, including how one qualifies for a professional discount? So great question. So um, professionals will still get 45% off of their own personal orders or whatever they purchase under their own ID number for their own clinic or, or location. And then if they direct people to the new website starting in September, then those customers will get the, you'll, you'll be earning a 20% commission on anybody that you direct to the website. So if you want to buy your own product, you get 45% off. If you've got a clinic or location, you should buy it through your own ID number and get 45% off. But if you've got customers, if you're a yoga instructor and you'd rather not stock products, but you'd rather direct people to the website as customers, then you'll earn a 20% commission. Okay. Okay. That Thank you so much. Yes, that yeah. was very clear. Thank you. Yep. Good question. Hi, David. This is Maya Nichols. Hi, Maya. Uh, so I was really involved in fighting the vaccine mandates here in California a couple of years ago, and I have a huge network of people who are very concerned with glyphosate and are already very aware that it's in everything and have children who were damaged by, you know, vaccines and recently they found glyphosate in the vaccines and all of that and doctors who are very involved in this whole issue. And so I'm finding when I'm reaching out to these people that they want to see the lab results. They want to see the proof that this product actually does what I'm saying it does. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just wondering if and when that will be available and just when like a little bit more info about the biomedic will become available to share. Sure. So we haven't launched the product yet. Um, so the good news, and, and I don't know if Dave mentioned it on stage, but since you asked the question so directly, so we're doing a clinical study. Um, it's a independently reviewed board study uh, with a gastroenterologist full-on testing of six different biomarkers. We're going to be getting two-week, four-week, and six-week results. Um, so we're in the middle of that right now. So, um, you know, we, we should have um, some great information that will be published that is on our product, on real-life people. Um, here, I would say in 30 to no more than 45 days. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. so it's very exciting stuff, and and we have exclusivity on this, uh, you know, on these ingredients, and and so, um, you know, for those who are more technical and want to see more of the details, uh, we'll we'll have that here pretty shortly. Okay, great. I also had a a lady respond back who's um, a practitioner, and she said that she does use a product that removes glyphosate and I was just a little bit taken off guard because I wasn't expecting her to say that she already uses something that does that. Um, so I don't know. When you're talking to professionals, just kind of be aware that there may be some other products out there that do this, but. Um, yeah, so, so there's no other product that does what our product does, which is three things. It removes the glyphosate. It, it, it increases the healthy gut bacteria that's damaged specifically by glyphosate. And then maybe most importantly and uniquely is the villi that are in your stomach or your gut lining um, that absorb the nutrients. Product helps to re-energize the villi and, um, there's a lot of people who believe, and again, I'm not making a specific medical claim, but things like autism, things like Alzheimer's, things like the diabetes are directly related to the lack of activity at the villi level. So instead of absorbing the nutrients and creating a healthy brain or a healthy environment for your entire body, because the villi are damaged, the nutrients go by, and so then your brain in lots of ways is starved or that your body demands more, um, you know, more food, more carbs, more sugar uh, for diabetes as an example, because it's not getting the nutrients it needs. So, you know, that piece um, is probably the most important physiological piece that's very unique to this product. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the anti-GMO removal of glyphosate is kind of the sexier, simpler marketing story. Mm -hmm. um, so if we said our product increases the intestinal 
villi absorption of nutrients, you know, people would be yawning before, you know, they heard the rest of the sentence. But the reality is that that's probably the most important piece is that, you know, most all of us have been eating genetically modified food for decades now. And, um, you know, our guts are compromised at some level. And so that's where you're going to see the big benefits from our product compared to other products that are out there. So, you know, so I, I think we're positioning ourselves as an anti GMO product, which is goes beyond just removing glyphosate. So, uh, you know, that's, that's really what we're trying to say is we're the first anti GMO product, not the first product that does any little component of it, but the one that really <laughs> solves the whole problem. So, so good, good question. Thanks, Maya. David, I had a quick question. Are any of the, is, is the biomedic patented or will it be? Are you guys working on getting patents for that? Is, or is it just going to be exclusive? Yeah. So, I mean, patenting nutritional supplements is really, really hard. Um, and not only is it hard, but, um, you know, because by definition, they have to be natural compounds, not, you know, uh, chemical compounds. Um, oftentimes, you know, the amount of time and effort it takes, uh, and money it takes is not worth it, but this may be a product that we choose to patent, um, because we're doing the clinical research specifically on it. Um, it definitely gives us a lot more weight, um, to, to do that. So we haven't gone that far or discussed it yet, but, um, you know, being first to market with these exclusive ingredients and knowing what the product does is, um, you know, the first most important step. Awesome. Just a very quick follow-up. I know we should uh, move on from this, but uh, what is the ingredient that nourishes the villi? Can't tell you. <laughs> okay, cool. Hi, this is Wendy Silvers in Los Angeles. Thank you for this. Um, I have a quick question because I too have been very actively involved with uh, the uh, vaccine mandatory legislation and dissolving that. What I would like to know is can we can we start talking about this in terms of the study and who are the studies being done on? Adults, children? Yeah, so you can't start talking about the study because we haven't released any information about the study. So once the study is released, then you can talk about the study. So yeah, so we, we don't want to jump the gun. We don't want to make promises or you know start getting into details. Um, in fact, it would be against the policy of the independent review board to release any data to us. So certainly we don't want to be rele releasing any data to you or, or pretend as though we are releasing data to you because that could get us in trouble. So there is a study going on and unfortunately, you know, we all have to wait patiently until that information comes out, but it, it should be 30 to 45 days. Take care. Hey, David. Yeah. Can you use it if you're um, pregnant or if you're breastfeeding? Do you know the info on that? So I, I, I don't know the answer to that specifically. Um, so we'll get, uh, we'll have that information when we launch the product. Um, I know that, um, you know, obviously breastfeeding um, and pregnant um, is a whole different set of safety issues. So Based on how the product works, um, I wouldn't imagine there would be a problem with that, but I, I, I certainly don't want to make that statement until I, I hear awesome. it. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Good questions. And I'm glad that we have so many advocates out there and people with uh, types of connections that can really make a difference because you know, we want to go from influencer to influencer, doctor to doctor. We want to change the world. So I got time for just uh, one or two, two more quick ones. If there's anything else, Sarah. I'd like to have some clarity on the um, structure of the four down. So like the, you know, there's, when you, when we talk about the unit level, level, the unit level, we're talking about just the front line, right? Because I keep hearing people say like, oh, but the unilevel, meaning like, I'm thinking they're meaning the front. That's what they're referring to as the front level, like the first level. Um, so the fir first level, we get 20% off of whatever they part purchase. And then there's four down, we get 5% of the BV. That's no different than what we're already getting, right? That's the same. 
So, so the way that the new customer program is going to work, the person who sells the product will make 20% of whatever the purchase price is that the person paid minus shipping and tax, but you know, whatever they pay, per, pay for their products. So if somebody buys $200 worth of products, you'll make $40, 20, 20% of 200 is, is $40. Then there'll be BV associated with that order. And the four people above the seller will make 5% BV. So uh, that's how customer orders will pay. And, um, you know, we think that that's going to create a lot of excitement because lots of people will be getting lots of customers. So how that'll work from a business standpoint is that instead of having a whole bunch of people who are 100 points and 100 points and 100 points and 100 points, you'll have a brand partner who may have five or 10 or 20 customers that could be a thousand or 1500 or 2000 points. And so you'll have a much more dense business organization with lots more volume. That's a lot closer, which will help you to qualify for ranks and earn more income. So I don't know if that answered the question, but it's, it's, it's 20% of the purchase price and then four levels of 5% of the BV. But you're getting BV points on whatever the customer orders. Yeah. Okay, so there's two things. There's five percent of the BV that we're getting paid on, and then there's five percent. Then there's the BV that we're just getting the points. <laughs> the people who are are so so the way that a compensation plan works is an order happens, and so actually the compensation looks up, not down. So if I placed an order the person who sold it to me would make 20% of whatever I paid. And then the four people above them would make 5% of the BV on the order. And that then everybody who's within nine levels, 10 levels, eight levels, whatever, depending on the part of the comp plan you're looking at, um, will earn points toward rank advancements. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Rachel. Does that make sense? I think so. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's not, it doesn't sound different than what we're already doing. It feels like we already get 5%. So you do, you get 5%, but you're, yeah. So, so you're getting right now we pay 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 3%, 3%, 2%. You know, there's, there's a total of 10 levels that are paid on, um, on member orders and that will still happen for brand partner orders, but customer orders will pay more to the person who sells it. And then it's only going to pay up four levels. So okay. it'll actually be kind of close to like a health professional order almost. Um, so, I don't know. It's in between a health professional order and a, and a, and a, and a, and a member order. That helps me understand. Thank you. Yeah. Now, now you got me scratching my head. <laughs> All right, I got time for one more question. Ask now or forever hold your peace. Don't be texting all your upline with all these questions. <laughs> you have the answer now. I've got a question for you all. Raise your hand if you've watched all seven of the videos that I made. All right, cool. Lots of lots of hands raised, but a whole bunch that haven't. So definitely make sure that you watch all seven of the videos that will answer some of the questions that you may have. Hey, David. Oh, I don't have a question. I just wanted to say I appreciate so much all the leadership for stepping in and doing these calls for us and really making sure that we're understanding everything and I just have so much faith and trust in you guys um, and how you're looking out for us all. And I'm, I'm really excited for all these changes and um, yeah, ready to ride the second wave. Just really appreciate you being here with us tonight. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the kind words and um, yeah, we're just getting warmed up. So the second wave is going to be a ton of fun and I uh, appreciate the trust and um, I have a lot of trust in you, especially this group here. You guys have done an amazing job here over the last 12 months and so many of you showed up in force here uh, over the past weekend and got a full dose of the unity and love and uh, community that we've put together and you're a big part of it. And, you know, it's just going to be easier to share. I mean, bottom line is I think this team has succeeded because you've been on a mission yourselves. You've been on a mission to help people, whether it's with health or with financial uh, independence. And that doesn't change. It's just going to get easier 
and uh, that's our goal. Our goal is to just make it easier for you to share. And, and most of the people on this line are above average. And so I never worry about you, but really to be successful, you need to have average people get above average results. And that's what I think you're going to see is duplication get easier. And you're going to see average people who come in, who just find it easy to hand out a gift card and, and have somebody try some products, get a good result, get a little check, feel good about it. And, you know, that's the way this business is going to grow from person to person and community to community. So, um, you know, but when all said and done, I think this biomedic product is going to be the one that's really going to knock down the door. So good luck promoting that. Get on the LSP that Dave and Amy have on the 23rd that launches the program. I'm going to do an LSP next Thursday night uh, on this wave two growth. So those of you who are on the Thursday night call tonight, thanks for supporting it. And uh, the LSP next week will be even better. So um, yeah, we're just here to, to have some fun and make some animated videos and change the world. Woo! Um, David, do you happen to have on you or is there printed or anywhere a list of the actual dates of the regional events too? Can we get that? Uh, yeah, there's a fall event guide and that's also on that um, big recap page. So okay, yeah, awesome. so, so there is a fall, fall event guide and, and um, most of them are on the 23rd. There's four of them on the 23rd. Um, I think that's Florida, SoCal, um, Washington and um, New Jersey, New York. And then I think uh, the 30th is Oahu, September 30th. And then December 7th is in Colorado. Awesome. And I'm planning on being, yeah, Colorado, Carta. So I'm planning on being in Florida uh, on the 23rd. And I'm planning on being in Colorado on um, October 7th. And then, you know, the other big event that I know people are really gearing up on is, is the, uh, is the um, opening of the um, manufacturing facility, which was originally slated for Monday the 25th. And just talking with Amy, we may slide it forward to Sunday the 24th to make it easier for people to fly in for the regional and then stay for, you know, a full on big open house and doing it on a Sunday might give people more flexibility versus after work time. So I think, you know, we're planning on a blowout, you know, of maybe hundreds of people there uh, for the grand opening as well. So those of you who are in Southern Cal, that's great. For those of you who aren't in Southern Cal, I'm sure you know, five, 10, 20, 50 people that are. So I think Southern Cal is really going to blow up. Lady Peyton, can you go and mute mama? Oh, sorry. I can't find your name. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no crying when I'm talking. Only laughing, smiling, and waving. I'm hearing some of those. I love that in Eric Warrior's presentation, there was a baby that was crying. And he's like, oh, that's what most network marketers sound like. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, no whining. We all, we are all in that. All good. We love, we love. We love over here. Hey, hey I, I, anybody who wants to be on at this time, all good. Bring, bring all the babies you want. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, David. I really appreciate you coming and um, just bringing so much clarity and just kind of being very grounded and stabilized in your presentation of all this. And it's just like, you know, just for everybody who's, who may still kind of be in that place of like, whoa, what does this all mean? It is simply a numbers game. It's an exposure game. So for you to continue to expose yourself, like if you have questions or if things aren't totally clear, keep plugging in because it's going to take a number of times of hearing this information before you're actually ready to be able to share it comfortably. And so, um, you know, I know there's a lot of Zooms and a lot of, a lot of opportunities for that right now. And so I just encourage everyone to kind of drop in and and soak it in while it's happening because um it's not you know it's it's normal to not just all of a sudden boom like you got it it takes it takes time so yeah and the timing works out perfect just because we've got you know another three three weeks or so to to get up to speed so we'll be putting out some more training materials and information and um so yeah so thanks thanks sarah for pulling together such a great group of people and to you know, constantly be training and enlightening and leading, you know, your group so well. And I'm here anytime you need me. So if we have to do this uh, a once a week for another month, two months, three months, five months, I'm all in. Awesome. I think we have one Can more. Can I ask a quick question? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Hey, David, this is Leora. And um, I have a question on the gift cards. And I just wanted to say I was glad you made a note to yourself about adding some European cards to the convention special, um, which I just bought because for those of us who are buying the convention special, we don't want to have to buy another $500 pack just to get a few European no. gift cards. So if I'm understanding that right, it might be something that you're able to do. Um, for those of us about the convention special, because I do have people. It's not, Europe, it's like not done say. yet. Cause I just wrote the note, yeah. but, uh, I'll look right, into it. For right. sure. <laughs> I was just thanking it's you done. for making a note to yourself. Thank you. Um, and my other question is like, I still have quite a lot of my original gift cards left. Um, and yet I, I bought the convention special just to set myself up with the unlimited. Would it possibly be more advantageous to me to buy a launch pack and have it, you know, then I'd have all the points if I have them thousand dollars, obviously, but have the points no. and the unlimited gift cards or. No, I don't think that's necessary. That's the reason that we put this uh, unlimited gift card offer in place. So it's not necessary. And just so you know, you'll get a hundred gift cards sent to you. And if you go through those hundred gift cards, then, you know, we'll give you a hundred more. So those cards that you have leading up to the to, to what you purchased on the unlimited are, are kind of in their own bucket. So um, however many cards you had before you bought the unlimited gift cards, one year from now you'll have at least that many cards. So um, so basically you're good to oh. go unlimited for a full year. So go for it. Oh, and I'll still have whatever remains of my original fifty. Yep. Is what you're saying. Oh, that's awesome. Um, okay. And then people who are on my front line who still have most of their 50, um, well, same thing, I guess. They'll just keep using those. And, and somewhere down the line, they'll be able to buy unlimited or they would have to buy in at the 499 level again. Yeah, so we haven't, decided, we haven't decided we haven't decided what our final gift card pack options will be, um, you know, after September 5th and whether to get unlimited, somebody will need to pay 499. We're not sure, but I know it won't be as good a deal as 249. So we, ha we haven't, we haven't decided okay. yet. And, and, and it also okay. includes one year of dreams platform too. And it may include, may include some European gift cards. I don't know, but I put it in my magic book and we'll see if we can make it happen. And yeah, just, it's just because people coming in right now on a platinum this month are going to have the year of dreams and they're going to have 50 gift cards. But then, you know, they may want a way of getting unlimited gift cards without spending four ninety nine. Yep. So, but, right. Okay, you got that. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, okay. Leora. And to clarify, okay. everybody, that is ends. All the specials are ending on the 15th. Actually, I had asked Amy to extend it to the 15th because it's the payday the monthly commission. So um, the anyone who you who is already part of Perium or you know who's enrolling who may want that unlimited gift card get get them on that by the 15th. And then um, all the convention specials are going through the 15th. And then I just want to clarify with you, David, it looks like the um, the convention ticket specials are also through the 15th. Is that correct? Uh, not the three packs that were offered at convention, but the others are. Okay, so the three packs end on tomorrow. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. can anyone who was not at convention purchase those, or is that only for? Only for people yeah. who were there. Okay, so if you're on this call and you were at convention and you want more of those packs of three tickets, buy them now. <laughs> And I posted the, the form in Bliss of Hana as well. Um, awesome. But we have, I mean, I heard there was like over 800 tickets already sold. So Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful that we'll have close to a thousand people who uh, are committed to, to coming by Friday. So that'd be awesome. So uh, 365 days to promote our next event and uh, already a thousand people committed to being in seats. That's uh, That's a great start. So thanks everybody for your hard work and Appreciate all that uh, you did to get to this past event, and uh, let's just you know take all that love and energy and put it out there in a big way. Awesome! Thank you so much, David. And I can stay on for a few minutes as well. I'll stay on cool. um, for a little bit, not too long, but I will stay on. So thanks, David, for okay. thanks. Us and night owling, and um, appreciate your support in every way. Awesome! Thanks. Anytime, Sarah. Appreciate it. Bye, Bliss Ohana.
Bye, David. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, thanks David. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you. Bye, David. Bye, David. Sarah, I had a quick question for you. Yeah, what's up? Okay, so with the unlimited gift card packs, um, wait, so you get 100, and then, like, if you use that 100, you get another 100, right? And, and unlimited until your year. So, oh, you're muted, so I can't hear your answers, but. <laughs> yes, no, that's correct, and for one full year. So let's okay. say you share 100 gift cards a month for a year you know, you will continue, you'll get 1200. Okay. So at the time that that year is up, whatever you have last left of your last hundred pack, do those like automatically expire on your year date or whatever's left of your no. hundred pack, do those continue until you carry, gone? you carry them through. Yeah. So let's say you uh, share 98, carry cards. them through. If you, if you share 98 cards in a year, yeah, you'll have two. If you share 101 cards okay. in a year, you'll have 99. Okay. That is very helpful. Thank you. Um, I didn't quite understand that they carry past a year. Is that what you just said? He, he, he said after a year, they, those are done, but whatever's left of my previous 50, I could use. Correct. Yeah, that's a different question. So if you... So what was this about them carrying forward? So Sorry. this is about, someone, so let's say somebody enrolls brand new. They have zero gift cards. They enroll. They buy an unlimited gift card pack. They share 101 gift cards in one year. So they would get their first 100 gift cards and use them all up. And if they use one more gift card, then they get their second pack of 100. They come in blocks of 100. Oh, then you would have whatever's left over of that last hundred gift cards. If you only use five gift cards of your hundred, then you get nine. Then you keep those ninety-five. But if you use, ah. then you only keep two. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. The hundred block, you get to keep that hundred block. Right, and you, and and for you, if you already have gift cards and you upgrade to an unlimited package, then at the end of the year, then you re, then you will have. Like, let's say you have 30 gift cards right now and you purchase an unlimited pack, you would have your original 30 gift cards plus the remainder of that 100 block on Got it. 66. Okay, so it's good to pay attention at the end of the year to where you are. Uh, you, might, you might be able to use, like, six more cards and get, get into your next 100 block or something. Yeah, if you're, if you're oh, giving out a ton of gift good. cards, you know, then... So if someone, so if someone in my organization started with say five gift cards or 50 gift cards, it would be advantageous if they want to get the unlimited pack, it'd be advantageous for them to work out of their unlimited pack first. I don't think that, that you have the choice. I think that you just automatically work out of your unlimited pack. And then at the end of that year, then you, okay, whatever you, whatever you had. To oh yeah. Cause it's going to be the same code. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Also, we're dropping into. <laughs> Does anyone yeah. have like any more big picture mm -hmm. questions about like right now? Oh, Karta, go ahead. Did you have something? I just had another question about the gift cards. I'm trying to understand. Let's do it. So I have uh, quite a few gift cards left, um, and I enrolled in December of last year. So I was gonna like see how many I was my goal was to just knock out the rest of the gift cards that I have and then enroll in the um, unlimited but is it smarter for me to enroll in the unlimited now and just knowing that I get to keep like the ones that I have I, mean, I, I would personally um, because it's never like this is so what they're looking at doing for the unlimited pack the projected price will be around five hundred dollars so right now you're basically getting a half price opportunity on the unlimited pack. And then on the other well, side of that year, you're still going to have all those pack, all those ones that, um, Can I chime in? Yeah. So check this out. Right now you are paying 15 bucks a month for dreams technology or 150 bucks for the year. So, that's some uh, that's a cost that if you're doing the business you already have you already are paying 150 bucks a year or more for dreams technology the unlimited gift card pack includes a year of dreams technology so what that means 
is that 150 bucks is for dreams. The unlimited gift cards are actually only a hundred dollars because it, it's a 250 pack. So that's why it's a complete no brainer for me because I've been paying 15 bucks a month. Now I'm not going to pay that anymore. 150 for dreams plus a hundred bucks for unlimited gift cards. And on top of that, the biggest bonus in the unlimited pack is that in this business, people tend to do what you do, right? What, whatever we do in moderation, our team does in excess. If you get an unlimited pack, every single person that you're doing a connect call for in the future, you can tell them, I got the unlimited pack because it's a no brainer. Right? Whereas if you're like, well, I, you know, like, I mean, it's, it, there's, there is something to be said for having that inner posture and being like, this is what I did because this is the best thing to do. And it, and it gives, um, it does give another layer of that because it is, it's the best. And like, and then so that you guys know as well, starting September 5th, once you have the coded bonuses happening, um, you only qualify to receive those matching bonuses if you get a layer of that. Wow. Yeah. So, so those, un, so the unlimited gift cards that you get now qualify you for the launch pack for the next year of compensation plan, correct? So the way that they're doing it is every single person who has a membership right now up until September 5th is automatically grandfathered in to receive all of those matching bonuses. So you guys don't have to worry about getting a launch pack in order to get the matching bonuses. However, once that time turns over, after September 5th, then there will be certain things that are unlocked in the packages as they get bigger. And so one of those things is the matching bonuses. And I believe it's for the launch pack that you only get those $200 and $500 bonuses for, um, I'm pretty sure it's the matching bonuses. Um, yeah, so, so it's going to be really easier when you have a business prospect to help them understand that in order, if they really want to do this business, they need to get a launch pack because that's the best. They're going to, they're not going to be able to even make as much money if they don't get that larger pack. That Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. So I just wanted to rewind a second and I don't even know if you know this, but this is the power of duplication here. Um, one, Sarah, one time or maybe a couple times on a connect call with me, she said what I'm about to say here, and I have said this hundreds of times. What she said is she was laying out the packs and she was talking about the platinum pack and then talking about the launch pack, and she said, but when you, when you get the unlimited cards, you put yourself in the unlimited stream of potential. And when you think about manifestation consciousness and the law of attraction, when you are in resonance with an unlimited flow of possibility, you will attract people who are also in that mindset. And that line right there, that concept right there, has sold more launch packs on my team than any, any other uh, advantage of the launch pack. And it's cool because I can remember hearing that one time from Sarah and that one that one time that she used that phrase has turned into hundreds of times that I've said it. And I don't even know how many people on my down team are saying that exact same phrase over and over again. And it's not just bringing benefits to people, to, to the immediate sharing that's happening, but that concept is being planted in people's hearts and they're moving through the world, strengthening that, um, that idea that what we, the resonant field that we create, around awesome thank you robin yes yeah, so these little and i mean this is one of the powerful things about doing connect calls is there's so many transmissions that i receive from tracy on these like that i can remember these special moments on these connect calls with her not every single time but there would be like one once in a while and i would just get this download and like and one of them was around getting people to events and getting, you know, the, the fact that we had three times as many people at convention with Ohana than the next crown, like than the next largest number. You know, we had so many people show up and so much of that came from one connect call that I did with Tracy where she just like, she just transmitted that to me. And so in 
just um, quickly, and I see your, your comment here, Gayla, and we'll get to that in one second, but just really quickly, I wanted to, while I have all you guys on here, um, really emphasize the power of these regional events. Because there are five, five or six of them going on around the country. So wherever you are, whichever one is closest to you, make a commitment right now to get there and to bring at least 10 people with you to the one closest to you. And then scan around and see what other events are happening and make another commitment to bring at least like one or two people to each of those ones. But to show up at these regional events with a large group of people is, I mean, it's the best thing that you can do for your business. Getting to events with large numbers of people is hands down the one single thing that you can do for your business to make it grow. Because what our job is, is to stay friends with people long enough in our downline to stay in that trusting, loving relationship, not to be like, do this, do that, blah, 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 blah. right? But to maintain this, this connection, this connectivity, this community, long enough so that we can help them get to a physical live in-person event and they can have a breakthrough because you guys are seeing that right like on the other side of convention it's like i'm having breakthroughs she's having breakthroughs that cross line person and that person and my upline and my downline everyone's just like Whoa. so the regionals are huge and they are a massive opportunity and they're happening in a very big you know range of places so i just want to um rowan you've got florida and jersey girl and i think grace even a couple years ago last year maybe she took a whole bunch of people up to up to jersey from Asheville. so florida you know or and or and or kind of the jersey area both of those are or SoCal, you know, I mean, it's kind of like wherever you go. The way I'd go to SoCal before I would go there because my team is there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. or, you know, and yeah. or like, so it's thinking yeah. about where you have the biggest team and or where you can grow the biggest team. Mm, good point. So Thank you. do you, are there people start thinking about it now? Like start these conversations now. Every single time that you reach out and text somebody, think about which regional are they closest to? When you're doing your text campaigns, think about that. Oh, this person's in, you know, wherever. They're in Arizona or they're in Utah or they're in, you know, Connecticut. And start that, start planting those seeds with them. Because even if you can't make it to that regional with them, you want them to be there. We, we need to get the people in the seats in the regional events. That is going to extend, it will like pump up our wave. <laughs> hardcore and it's going to be explaining all this stuff over and over again so it's going to be helpful to all of you as well um i see some hands up Gayla. okay yeah yeah i had that question um so this is a, this is really i'm going into my third month and i don't really you know the ranking and all of that is still very new to me so i've been hearing some things that kind of sound contradictory when it's when we're talking about going to executive um and i'm a little concerned because it's the 10th now you know and i've got to make this big push so i'm just trying to really understand like concretely what the full benefit is and what i'm gonna miss if i don't make executive this month because you know i'm just trying to to get my focus completely clear so that I know what I'm dealing with. Yeah. Okay. So perfect. So a couple things. Number one, when you're thinking about getting to executive, um, it's really helpful to start to think rather than thinking about like, Oh, 6,000 points. and like, how many cards do I have to share to get to 6,000 points? It's so many, right? So rather, cause that can feel overwhelming, but if you get two people to director, if you have two people that you enroll and you support them to hit director, it's way easier. And if each of those two people that you enroll in, in like, say help them get to director, you're helping each of those two people create two consultants, it's much easier, right? So it kind of like, it's thinking about starting to spread that out and help people support other people to reach their goals and that will get you to where you wanna go. So instead of thinking about like, oh my God, I have to like sell, you know, like 
I have to go out there and sell 20 launch packs in order to get to executive. And what is that going to even do for me? Like, I'm going to die by the end of this month if I try to do that, you know? But it's thinking strategically, okay, who can I bring in that, that knows people? Like, where can I put my energy first? You know, I want to bring in the people who can actually start to create a team. Um, so director six, or sorry, executive is 6,000 points and four active enrolled people. Um, and what you actually, so it, in terms of reaching executive this month, there's two, there's a couple different, there's a couple different benefits. One is that you're going to get $500, which is pretty awesome because it used to be two, right? So you're going to get $500 and you're going to be in the coded bonus. You're going to actually get a little thing for next month, which means that every single time once we launch this whole thing, every single time anyone in your team, you or anyone in your team shares a um, sorry, doesn't not share, doesn't share a gift card because we don't need gift cards, but someone purchases a business pack, they get a platinum or a launch pack in your team. If you're executive, you're going to get a bonus every single time one of those is purchased in your team. If you're not executive, you won't get that bonus. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, it does make sense. And is that like, is that, is that, permanent or is that just meaning that for the for the month, for that month. following okay so it's not like it's not like i'm condemned or something no. to being out in the no, frozen no. tundra or something right no you're not going to be like you know ah, no it, they're dropping it, me they're leaving me it, it's a monthly opportunity so whatever way okay. you end at this month okay i'm going to set you up for next month of how much money you're going to be making Okay. And to be clear, you're, to be clear, when you enroll uh, a builder or a launch pack, either of the two business packs, even if you're not ranked at executive, you still get the bonus for that pack. You get one for yourself. Yeah. For yourself, you get one if you're. But the the code is so if people under you are enrolling packs, then you get paid for those two. Well, so you okay. still, even if you're not executive, you still do make a bonus on your personally enrolled packs. Right. And so, it, but if you are executive and you enroll somebody, then you get, you get the enroller bonus and you get the executive bonus. So you actually get more, even if you're per so like for me, since I'm a crown, if I personally enroll someone with a launch pack, I get like $300 from that because there's no, there's no like, executives diamonds blue diamonds or crown okay or that person so so it's, okay. it just co compounds the amount of bonuses you're getting off of every pack that's shared so if you if you are a director at the end of the month you will only be getting the bonuses if you're personally enrolling somebody and you'll get one one share essentially okay. you can kind of but if you're an executive by the end of the month and you personally enroll someone you're going to get the per, you're going to get the enroller bonus and you're going to get the executive bonus and let's say somebody a couple people down enrolls a launch pack you're going to get the executive bonus on that path okay okay so if you're a director it's going to go it's going to skip you and go to the next oh okay okay so and and i'm i'm understanding that some of what's happening with the way that the bonuses are shifting around it's going to help our upline support us more mm -hmm. uh, because they're going to be getting paid more for that support. So whereas it seemed like before, um, like with Grace, for instance, it seemed like she had to put a lot of focus on getting new people for herself. Now she can actually narrow her focus and work on building her team, which makes a lot of sense to me. And is that correct? Is that what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so um, the way that it was, or the way that it is still and is about to change is that there's no bonus that comes through to anybody besides the enroller. So like when I work with I work people with who are way down deep, 10 lines deep to me, and I help them enroll a platinum pack or a launch pack, I don't actually get like anything, you know, I mean, I get the, I get the volume, but I'm not getting like a, like a, a dollar amount. 
the volume helps me to rank, but I'm not getting like, you know, part of that. So it used to be just concentrated only to the person enrolling and now it's unlocking, yeah, this ability for, you know, for the upline to actually start to get compensated for that support that we're giving the brand new people, especially. Yahoo! That's awesome. I'm so excited about that. Yeah, top rooting is a lot more lucrative now. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, we all top root. I mean, Tracy's like always been all about that. So that's a technique that she's really taught and and that's been an amazing technique to learn and it's very, very powerful. And now it's going to be powerful and, you know, it's going to bring more into those weekly checks. So does that, is that clear, Gayla? Do you get that pretty? Yeah. Yeah. Now I can start to actually start plugging in the numbers because this has been throwing me off because I've heard a little bit of like, at first I thought it sounded like it was like, you've got to make it before the end of August or you're, <laughs> you're out or you're never going to get there or something. And now it's like, no. Okay. I get it. It's like, it's like, just go for it. And, um, your strategy really helped because I have two people that want to build as business and I'm not a hundred percent sure. So right now I really have to like sync up with them and find out like, can I, can I put the juice there to help lift them up and bring them into director or, do I go find two more people that are just running with batteries loaded already? You know, like I don't have to, don't have to bring them along as much. Right. So this is where your texting campaign comes in, which is to say that, you know, yeah. this is an awesome time because the group mind is all like, right. Like we have this like collective consciousness. It's like, holy shimoli. Like, who do I know? Oh my God. Like, give me my phone. You know, who can I reach out to about this? And so just getting onto that, like getting into that frequency is, is so it's always, especially in times of change, it's, it's almost always more powerful to bring new people in than to try to like, like they say, it's easier to give birth than to raise the dead. Right. So, I mean, not to say that you're just going to abandon everybody, but it's, it's really that forward thinking vision of like, okay, who do I know that, that, like you said, that's charged up already? Cause you don't want to let this slip by like this whole opportunity, like pass you by. Cause you're like, come on, you guys wake up, you know, <laughs> like share some gift cards. Right. So, cards. so you, you really want to be putting this energy out there in a massive way and creating massive action right now to bring in massive numbers of new people into your team right now who come September 5th, like David was saying, are already, have already had their products, they've already been on some masterminds, like they're already kind of starting to get it, and, um, you know, and to start to create that, that, it's like a fishing net that you're building, you're creating this like net, this wider and wider net, so that come September 5th, when you cast that out into the ocean, it's not just you with like your little scooper, right, you have this huge net because of all the people that are already joined with you who are sharing, so I would definitely encourage you to spend at least 80% of your time enrolling people. And then with every conversation, every enrollment conversation, blah, 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 it's like, oh, well, who do you know that might want to do this with you so that you can help some of them hit consultant and maybe help some of them hit director, right? Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Robin. Also, I appreciate that. Thanks for jumping in. I have a question, Sarah. I don't actually know if you can answer it, but I'll ask it anyway. Um, I saw a mock-up of the new websites and I know that you can actually opt in to auto ship if you want to. Um, cause for some people, they just like to do that. Smart order. I have, I have a smart ship. Yeah. Can I finish my thought? Thanks. Um, so when they click, um, the people who are already on monthly orders, are they going to be on smart ship automatically or they are automatically drop off come September 5th? Um, I believe that they will continue to be on, on smart ship. I think that they'll transfer that. I don't, I do not foresee Perry. I'm like deleting everyone's backup orders. I don't think that they're going to want to do that. So, um, my strong sense is that if you're already on a backup order and because we've, you know, and, and even because we're, we're saying right now, right, anyone who enrolls this month and or places, like, activates their backup order this month is going to be grandfathered in for the 30% off through the end of the year. Right. But if you take your backup order off in the next six months, 
then you lose that and you go back down to 25%. So I can say with pretty, you know, with confidence that if you have your backup order on by September 5th, it will stay on now it's going to take it off. For Thank you. I had another question, but I can't remember. So I'll have to think about it and come back. Okay. Hey, Danielle, Mama. Did you have a question? Oh, sorry. Who's that? That's Ashley. Danielle can go. It's cool. Um, I'm just seeing the hands, but yeah, go ahead, Ashley. Oh, girl. Oh, yeah. Okay. I had my hand up. I'll take it down too. Oh, I just wanted to hop on and just say I've been coming on all of the, the masterminds and all the Zooms and I'm like a lot just seeing everyone's heads spinning in some ways. And at the beginning of all this, I think mine was a little bit, not so much at convention, but then in the integration. And something that I just got really, really clear on today is um, how amazing all these enhancements are. And that if there is anything that is just not fully integrated yet or that just isn't making sense, I really have such this deep feeling of trust. You guys, like David Teddy is so lit up. You know, there are some people that I feel like they get it. You know, I'm like, okay, they get it more than I do. And I've been here for a year and a half and I've never seen Teddy so and lit. Like both of them are just on fire. They are like, <laughs> they're so excited. And so I'm just kind of taking that like, yeah, they know what's up. They're not going to give anyone in this company a pay cut. They're not going to like downgrade anything or make things like way harder, more challenging. And so I think um, just a reminder of that in the, oh, what about this? And what about that? Because it's really easy for the mind to crunch and want to protect ourselves from like tragedy or, you know, it's going to be something bad. It's like this human instinct that we all kind of have. So if anyone else is just feeling that at all, just want to... Um, let you guys know the path that I went down to sort of resolve that was just this one of trust and really also witnessing the excitement of our leaders and knowing that like it's all going to be super great. So we just want to keep building and keep being in our action steps and, um, you know, not stopping the flow of momentum for ourselves. So I don't know. I, I didn't have a question. I just wanted to like <laughs> share my thoughts. I love you guys. It's so good to be back with like little Bliss Ohana here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I love you. Ashley, yeah, and and definitely I can second that. Like Skull Teddy on these masterminds, he's just like, "Do you even know? Like, if you get an executive, you're gonna make blah, 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 blah. And like normally he's like so chilled out and he's like, you know, with his like green glasses or his pink glasses, and he's like, yeah, you know, like super mellow, and he's just like, so yeah, definitely um, that this is all really good stuff that's happening. And that being said, I. I definitely encourage you guys to all get informed, you know, don't stop your flow around, you know, you don't need to like stop doing that stuff so that you can like open up the book and like read it for 10 days, but coming on and just staying in the frequency because when we start to get stressed or confused, the tendency is to pull back. The tendency is to like isolate, to go on an island, like if there's challenges or whatever, like most people have a tendency to just kind of be like, like I'm not getting this, like I'm the only one, like everybody else understands and I can't get it, you know, or whatever. Like I've had those moments in the past with different rollouts and stuff. And so um, stay, stay tight, stay tight in with the community, bring your people in and just, you know, enjoy the process and get excited. And, and if you're not feeling excited in the moment, like, you know, do your best to at least just stay in the field of where things are getting worked out and people are like, you know, and just know that it's all good and it's, it's all really good. Like it's all really, really good. And you're not expected to like, just get it right away like that. Thanks, Ashley. Danielle, did you want to ask something? Hi. Yeah. Hey. Um, I guess I saw where you say that the regionals would be, um, okay, I might have to pause one sec, sorry. Okay. Rowan, did you want to? Yeah, yeah, hi, hi. So, um, just to kind of piggyback on Ashley, yeah, my head was kind of exploding a little bit too for a moment because it was just so much and... I just wasn't getting it, but I will say repetition has been key for it. Like it's sinking in and the more it sinks in, the more excited I am. 
And I'm really grateful. Uh, my new builders, uh, Meredith and Evan, are here on the phone, and it's really dropping in for them. They've been texting me. And I will just say um, one thing, too, about the gift cards that we were talking about is with the new builders and launch pack, the builder packs and the launch packs, they will not use one of our gift cards when they come in with those. Like they use our code, but they don't get a $50 off gift card. So those are just going to be for our customers. So they're going to last even longer, um, which is awesome. And the other part that I wanted to say is um, thank you. Thank you for working on this. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the big fat raise. <laughs> thanks for making it easier um, to quit my job sooner. Just thank you for all of that. Because then I just get to come in even bigger and, and more often. So awesome. yeah, I've just been yeah. sitting in so much gratitude the last two days, like being on these calls and hearing like, like the dollars are just adding up in my head of like, if this had been in place before, how much money I could have made. And so moving forward as an executive, cause I'm 50% there. Um, I know I'm, I know that's coming. Like, it's just going to be amazing. So I'm excited. I'm excited for Bliss Ohana. We were, we showed up and showed out at convention and I know we will moving forward too. So thank you. Thanks, Rowan. Woohoo! Anybody else? Danielle, are you back? Baby's nursing. Yeah, so um, to complete my thought there, um, you were saying how crucial regionals are. And for someone, even like myself, being new to this company and then trying, um, you know, presenting it to others what would be the main like benefits of attending? Like what is the main focus of the regional convention? So the, the regionals are like a one day event. They're not like the, they're not like the um, convention where you're there for multiple days and spending the night. You can spend, the, I mean, you can spend the night, but it's not the same. So I'll just give you like my experience. When I first got started, I was brand new. I ordered, De uh, December 21st, 2014. And right after I ordered, Willow started telling me, so there's this event in Oahu. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me, bro. Like, I am not going, you know, to another island with just my baby, leaving my family. There's no way. I don't have money. Like, it's too complicated. I don't want to rent a car. No. And she just kind of stuck with me. And she's like, I think it'd be really amazing for you to come. And she, she supported me. She gave me a lot of support. She gave me emotional support. She rented a car with, you know, we stayed at my auntie's house on the floor. Like, you know, we just, we worked it. She was right there and she's like, just come. It's going to make a huge difference. And I will say that getting to that one day event, you know, I got there and I was like, oh God, the loud music. And like, this is so hypey. I knew it was going to be like this. You know, I was just like, I was like the worst, you guys. Like, just such a resistant, <laughs> bad girl. But at some point during the day, I, I had this, like, I felt it. At some point during the day, I was in that room and I felt it. And there's no way to feel it like that if you're not physically there. You can get, you can still get it. You can feel it from the Zooms and you can feel it, you know, on a certain level. But being in the room in the energy, in the frequency, seeing Dave Sandoval, like by the end of the day, I mean, it was just, I was like, this is my family, like this is my home, you know? And had I not gone to that event, it would have been a way different, way different experience for me um, just with the whole business. Like I can, I personally can honestly say like, if I had not have gotten to that event, I'm not sure if I would still be with Perian. It gave me the fuel that I needed in order to, to make it few, through those first few months where I was like, ugh, do I really want to be doing this, you know? Is this really like, what the heck am I doing here in this, like, you know, because it was way different back then. Like, there wasn't this kind of, like, you know, this, this, it, it wasn't built like this. We didn't have this, like, community feeling going on in, the, in back in the day, way back when. 
Um, so it really supported me. And I'll say too, I don't know if Tevia is on here, but um, I think he jumped off. But like Tevia's story is, is, you know, I can still remember like when he first signed up and then he went, you know, he was moving and he had this thing and he had that thing and he was kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I'll, you know, I, I want to do it, but I'm not like totally you know, he, he wanted to do it, but he wasn't like showing up. And then he got to the Southern California regionals. Um, and on the other side of that, I remember him, like he read me all of his notes on the phone. He was like, Dave Sandoval, man, he's so amazing. He said this. And then he said that. And then he said this. And he was like reading, he read like probably a couple pages of Dave Sandoval notes. Like this. And then he walked by and he like tripped on me, but then he like gave me a hug and I, you know, and it was just, it made such a huge impression on him that after that, it was like, you know, there was like before the regionals and after regionals, you know, in his process. And it just juiced him up so much that it, it helps us to get bigger than our obstacles. It helps us to activate. And so if you have people, you know, you're directly enrolled to me. So it's sort of like more my role to be talking to people about that um, then you like talk telling them you know necessarily like just from your own words um, connect them to me and I'll support you but definitely you know that goal is 10 people the goal is 10 people uh, from your team or at, at least any regional if not at the one that you're personally at thanks Danielle Hey, Lucy. And I will say, too, that we had, like, a really amazing Go Big event here in Kauai right before I went to Uruguay that I feel was the solidifying moment of this team and of my, like, my whole run this entire year was based on that event because I knew I was leaving for two months to go to Uruguay, so I pulled together, and this was, like, really when the team really showed up and we had 70 people in Kauai at that regional event. And like, I would say at least 50 of them flew in. Most of them from the mainland. And it was awesome. We have, we were here for like four days. It's kind of like a retreat more than a, than a regional. We had like a bunch of different things going on, but you know, it's a bonding time. It's really special. And anybody who you're talking to is like thinking, yeah, I might want to share cards. They have to be at a regional. You have to, have to, have to, have to, have to be there at one or another one. And if you need to help them, you know, coax them, help them, tell them, oh, it's all, I'll help you rent the car or like, you know, we can share a room or whatever it is. Support them in whatever way is necessary because crowns are born at events, baby. <laughs> awesome, you guys. So it's five o'clock my time. Um, we've had our hour and a half. We're not going to be doing Go Diamonds for the next, um, I may do a couple more pop-up list Ohana things, but this isn't going to be exclusive in any way. So anytime you guys see me doing a pop-up, it's for the whole team. It's not just for a Go Diamond group. I'm going to change that at some point in the next month or so. So um, I know I miss our Bliss Ohana calls too. We'll do, let's do at least once a week, Bliss team extravaganza and then I'm going to um, I'm going to formulate our next movement which should be happening soon so thank you all I love you so much thanks Sarah thank you.